now taking um, Tundra 4 0, and then as we move on to the next map, which is Muravanka, I think we're going to start seeing some um, you know, more interesting stuff coming out of Sim. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just, you know, shouting you out in chat, letting you know Alarai with the choke didn't see the pings on the map, but we're all set there, guys. So thank you for your help. And uh, we'll go into game number four here on Tundra. This will be the last one on Tundra tonight for this match series. So Simp bringing two 215Bs, four E5s, two Bat Chats, two 140s, two 907s, a 62A, and a 53-55 being played by Executus. He's going to be back in that arty piece. And then Mahu bringing two 215Bs, two IS-7s, two E5s, five 140s, an SCB, and a 62A. And that RD piece being played by Reptile. We've seen it in him. We've seen him in the RD piece, not the RD piece in him. All four games now. So we'll go check out what Mahu's doing. Well, with a very similar sort of setup for their attack. You know, the, they approach it like a, a defense in the way that they split out like this. The probing simp to see if they're grouped up in any one position so that they could go and take a piece of the map that the attacker doesn't normally have access to. Um, but because it's so spread out, that's not really an option that's open for them at the moment. I like that this time um, who's got a big grouping of medium tanks in the south. They're going to do some early damage to that bat chat that's sitting in the village. Um, and, and when it comes time to, for push to come shove, um, those mediums are going to group up, they're going to go into the south, they're going to take out the, the spread out defensive mediums of Simp. Um, and meanwhile, all their forces in the north are going to roll in and try and, and keep all of the heavy tanks from Simp tied up and unable to flex. We'll just, uh, I, I, I guess what we're going to see is, is what we saw there in the second game from Mahu with the, the we're just going to slow play this for a couple of minutes at the start. Let Reptile get some damage done, um, and, and just play the attrition game at the start. We saw Mahu doing that very, very well in the second game. Yeah, we'll see uh, Euro here. He's creeping up along the A line. He wants to get eyes for that arty piece, as he'll be finding out very shortly that there's four simp players hiding behind this little tiny mountain. Why so ignorant? Poking up, trying to get eyes on the situation. Does light something. He's going to be lighting the 140 of Chase. We had a shot um, land right behind Exeter. Actually, the There's another one going in. They're trying to blind fire the Arty. Um, you know, if you guys aim just like one or two tank widths to the left, you'd be hitting him perfectly. Um, Reptile with the, the counter battery attempts has missed as well. Yep, we still see that fire incoming, trying to take out Executus. Executus going to be hiding behind that build. The, uh, not the building, but the mountain, though. And uh, the IS-7, we've seen this prior. Stuka going to be poking around, getting some intel for the team. Hopefully put out some damage and not take any in return. As both teams still feeling each other out. Trying to figure out where they can make a push and get through the back lines very quickly. Now this STB pick, we see what they're using it for. Magenta Panda is going to be up here playing the Mountain Goat role. Actually getting down now, but he was playing up here. He had some help from his teammates to push him up. Now this gives him ability to look out on top of the whole three line. So Bubble going to be taking an already shot there to the teeth. He's going to want to get that fixed at the dentist after this match. But Jay Smooth still holding down this corner as Stuka still trying to get some eyes for the team. Stuka. It was the group of mediums which is down the south rat um, from Mahou. They've sort of disbanded that position and left uh, Wally there by himself. The other three mediums peeled up and, and joined the north. They went up there and they got spotted um, by the simp guys and now they're on their way back down. So what, what you can see there from simp is because those mediums that were down south got spotted north, yeah. all of their mediums are now grouping up and getting ready to push in the south because they think that's the weak area. But, but Mahau has, has, has grouped back up towards the south there. You know, they're going to surprise Simp's mediums. That's going to be quite a shock to the system for there. Now, Emphi going to be getting taken out here very positions. shortly. Well, it's interesting. Mahu flexing around south with a, quite a few friends. They're going to be having an overmatch here. It's looking to be a six on four. The heavies would only play a role shooting across a bridge, but Mahu is going to be successfully pushing over... The train tracks, they're going to be pushing into these mediums. Batchad of Pub Whisper, going to be very low HP. 
as the E5 currently missing his shot had the potential to kill him but Magenta Panda will be picking up that kill in the STB as Votado's trying to escape this massive push that's coming for south as well now Simp going for the overmatch up top here they're gonna be working that IS-7 oh, big hit from Reptile they're hitting two, two tanks for a combined total of thousand damage uh, from the Simp heavies there in the center yep can uh, duck and bubble taking a shot from that RD piece there's gonna be cat pressure going down from Mahu Mahu gonna be trying to screen from that river they need to get someone in front of Mac G though they need to get up in those buildings and apply some early pressure as we see the arty shot coming out for a known position where you cap but the three mediums unaffected by that shot are gonna only have 20 seconds left till they cap out Kawhi is gonna be trying to screen for that cap needs to go for some track shots as Flack and Votado gonna be pushing in very shortly Mac G and Shifty need to push in ASAP five seconds left onto the cap the Artie will not be reloaded one second zero seconds and we have exclamation mark Mahu gonna be capping out game number four simp not reacting quick enough noticing that those four mediums were running away you know once you run away you no longer have eyes on the situation so Mahu f free to get on the cap and apply some cap pressure ended up working out for them man oh man what are you